Hi, I'm Cheryl Heilman. I'm the Assistant Director at the North Baltimore Public Library, and I'm here with my co-worker, Pam Van Moy. We are having a little celebration this month because you have been here for five plus years, right? Exactly. Yes. Now, can you tell us what your position is at the library? I actually have a title. You do? <laughs> I, I am an adult circulation clerk. Excellent. But this is not your first position, correct? No. You've, I, been, you've had a lot of other career opportunities, right? right. <laughs> and I was here at the library before. Right. Um, I did 35 years as a teacher and a, an elementary principal in Fostoria. Mm -hmm. And when I retired from there, I went to work at the university for a while. Um, and I had student teachers that I mentored. And then I even worked for the United Way of Wood County. And then I worked here at the library part-time afternoons. And then they, uh, Marlene North called me and asked me to come to Powell and work with the teachers there. So then I, I left the library and went to Powell mm -hmm. and now I'm back. So you have a lot of experience that you bring to share with us. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what do you think your greatest asset is for the library? Um, I, I think that I'm a workaholic, so this keep, <laughs> keeps me... Really? Yeah. <laughs> so it keeps me pretty busy. Um, the time I'm here, I only work four hours a day, four days a week, but I have stuff that I do every day, mm -hmm. and so those days are... Those hours are pretty. They're full, filled. right? Yeah. <laughs> but I um. You're not. You're not reading on the side in between no, checking people out. No, <laughs> that is a myth that librarians get to read the whole that time they're here. Mm -hmm. That that we don't get to that we luxury. Don't, no, only when I'm reading in front of kids do I get that luxury. There you go. <laughs> so, what is the the best part of your your day every day? Every day, um, we pull books that are sent. Um, to other libraries or for patrons that have requested them. And I enjoy going back into the stacks and pulling the books. Um, I get to use skills that I taught <laughs> when I was a teacher. So for all of my former students who complained about why we had to put spelling words in alphabetical order or why we had to put decimals mm -hmm. in order, if you work in a library, you get to do that every day. You get to practice those math skills too, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you have been a major component of our Friends of the Library since we restarted that. So what do you get to do with the Friends of the Library and what do you contribute? Well, I'm the secretary treasurer. So not only do I um, take the minutes at our annual meeting, which is in January, but all of the fundraisers that we do including the book sale, we've done the fabric fiber and more sale, mm -hmm. we did um, the snowmen last year, we've done other activities where we've made money for the friends. The friends turn around then and with the help of the library staff, not me, but you and <laughs> All Holly, <of> <laughs> yeah, um, the friends mission is to provide monetary um, assistance for projects to the library. Mm -hmm. So we take the money that we make and we turn around and give it back to the library for special projects. Mm -hmm. Like summer reading and winter reading and the all those prizes, extra things. Yeah, yeah, the things that taxpayer dollars aren't used for. Perfect. So yeah. That's how that, and I kind of coordinate the, mm -hmm. fun, the and, funds. And we have a book sale coming up next week, so don't miss yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, even, um, even though you have your position here, and you're part of the Friends, you do a lot of other volunteer and community things. What else do you like to do in the community? Well, I'm active with my church, and so there mm -hmm. are volunteer things that go on at St. Luke's that I participate in. But I'm also the secretary of the Historical Society. and Also so, something very important to us. Yes. <laughs> so, I, you know, I work with different people there, and I think... That's probably um, one of the things that has been the most surprising for me mm -hmm. coming back to work at the library is that I'm meeting a different group of people. Um, when we first moved to town, my husband was familiar with people in town, but because I was working in Fostoria, in Fostoria yeah. I didn't know that many people here other than the people at church. Then when I worked at Powell, 
I met parents. Mm -hmm. Well, when I'm working at the library, it's a different group of people, and I'm I'm learning people that I hadn't met before come in, and it's it's t good to get a wide range of people mm -hmm. in the community that you live. So, all of these volunteer activities allow me to meet different groups of people. Perfect. Well. I just want to say on behalf of the library and our community, thank you for all that you do, Pam. Thank you. <laughs>